Thank you for joining me again for another short and simple recipe from my first cookbook. My family loves going out for Chinese food, but I like to cook something at home. So I came up with my solution and version of pork fried rice and my family loves it. So let's go. First, you will need olive oil, two cups of rice, three green onions chopped, one carrot diced, two eggs, salt and pepper, a half a teaspoon of minced garlic, four tablespoons of soy sauce, sesame oil, one teaspoon of grated ginger, if you have it, one teaspoon of toasted sesame seeds, a half a cup of frozen peas, and two boneless pork loin chops. What you need to do first is I've got my pork all prepared. I've tenderized it, sliced it up, so I'm all set to go. But before I start cooking it, I'm gonna go on to my ginger. I'm just gonna use my little grater. And we just want a flavor. We just want a taste of ginger to enhance the meal. And the reason why we're doing this first is because we need to add the ginger to our pork while it's cooking. Oh, if you guys could only smell this. I think that looks about all that I need. So my pan is already hot. I'm gonna add my pork in. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna add a little salt, add a little pepper. Well, I think the secret of pork is definitely not to overcook it and cook it too long because then it gets, you know, tough and everything. So this may take about five to 10 minutes to cook. Just let it sit there for a few minutes to kind of get the flavors and brown a little bit. While the pork is still cooking, I'm gonna start on with my eggs because with every pork fried rice, at least for our family, we kind of like that egg, scrambled egg mixture in it. Just a dab of olive oil. Crack two eggs into your hot saute pan. So just kind of mix them all in a little bit. I think my pork is about done. I'm gonna turn my heat off. One thing I like about pork fried rice, if you could let it sit just for a little bit and give all of those flavors a chance to kind of incorporate with each other. Oh, it is so good. My pork is almost done, so I'm gonna add the fresh ginger. Just a half a teaspoon of garlic. Stir that all around. We're gonna go ahead and add our carrots and let those soften up a little bit. We're gonna add our frozen peas. And we're just gonna add a little bit of green onions. I love this dish because it is simple, it is fresh looking, it's got a lot of great color in it. You can use any kind of rice that you'd like. I usually use brown rice and not like a white rice. I went ahead and already prepared the rice, so we're gonna mix that in there. And the other thing that I love about this too is you got your pork, you got a little vegetables, serve it with a green salad. So to finish this off, you always need soy sauce. Four teaspoons of soy sauce will give that great Asian flavor. And to me, the thing that really gives it that Asian flavor too is sesame seed oil. And again, it's really what your family's preference is. So what we're gonna do next is add our scrambled eggs that we cook, a little bit of cilantro, but a little bit of toasted sesame seeds. The pork stirred fried rice is all finished, so let's serve it in a great big or appropriate dish. Just a little more cilantro and just a little more toasted sesame seeds. And I hope your family enjoys this as much as mine does. Enjoy. And remember to check back soon for some more recipes. And don't forget to pick up your copy at any online retailer or bookstore. Till next time.